Hello, my name is Jade Keenan. I'm a Salesforce consultant with Central App, and today we're going to be talking about creating email templates in Salesforce. With that in mind, we're going to primarily focus on two specific areas. Now, as we're going through this, you may find that you don't have the permissions to do this. This will require special permissions to be able to access and create email templates within the system. Please reach out to your Salesforce administrator to help you either get access or to create these email templates for you. To get started, let's go over to contacts, as this is going to be one of the main areas we're going to be interacting with email templates within the system. From here, we're going to go over and we're actually going to create an email. I'm going to hit expand. And from this interface, we have the ability to create email templates directly from within an email. So we're actually going to go ahead, we're going to remove the Salesforce watermark. Um, that is something that you can pay to get removed. And then the second part is our email signature. I'm just going to remove that for right now for the sake of creating an email template. So now that we have a clean slate to work with, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start with our email itself. So I'm going to just copy paste an email I had already pre-generated here. We're going to go ahead and create our subject line. Now that we have our email kind of crafted, I want to explain these sections here. So what these are, are inserted fields from within the system. So this is a great way for email templates to automatically put in recipient names, organization names, sender names. These are some of the most commonly used. But to do that, we go over here, we click insert merge field, and then we have our three options here. The recipient, sender, and organization. So who's it going to? So in this case, Rose's record. These are some of the fields that we can use from Rose's record to be able to insert within the email. And so for this case, we did um, first name. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, the other options we have are sender. Again, we used um, full name for that one. And then organization, we did name. And so that's a good way of how we put in the name of the company. So we're going to go ahead and cancel since I've already inputted those within the email. So we have recipient na first name, organization name, sender name, organization name. That's just some examples of how we can insert merge fields within the email record. And in order to go ahead and see what this email is going to look like, we're going to go ahead and click the preview email, the little eye icon to the right of the left hand buttons. So we're going to click that. And bam, we have Dear Rose, I wanted to reach out to you. Your recent purchase from Central App. We really appreciate your business. We're glad for your needs. And then it concludes with Jade Keenan Central App. So that is a very quick way for us to create our email. Now, how do we create this into an email template is the next part. So the way we go about that is we actually go to the third button in. It says Insert, Create, and or Update Template. So we're going to click that button. And we're going to hit save as new template. So when we do that, we have this screen pop up. It's very good to be as descriptive as possible. There is a search engine that allows you to be able to search through templates quickly and to be able to find the information you need. So for this one, we're going to go, thanks for your recent purchase. Description, we're not going to put one in for right now, but I very much encourage the, the use of this field as it is one that helps the system be able to quickly find and access information that's important to the user. So we're going to go ahead and click here. We're going to make it a public email template. Now, this is very important. We do have private and public templates. By making it public, I'm making it accessible to the entire company to be able to use this template. So we're going to go ahead and click Save. and as you'll see here, recently used templates, thank you for your recent purchase, is one of the ones that is popping up and is quickly accessible. We also have the ability to insert a template. If we had other templates within the system, we could go ahead and select which one at that point. Again, the search functionality is going to be really helpful for this because, again, the description is available here from the screen. So we can go ahead and search for the email that is appropriate for our situation. I'm going to go ahead and close this out here, and I'm going to go and close this out from here as well.
The second location we have to create email templates may or may not be available to you depending on the layout of your page. But if we go up here to the nav bar, we have email templates. Another way we can search for that and access it is actually through our app launcher where we can type in email templates and be able to access the same nav bar functionality directly from here. So as you can see here, we have three different email templates that are available within the system currently, but it is from here that we have the ability to select and create new email templates. This is a great feature to have if you are the manager and you're constantly spinning up new email templates for specific campaigns or specific initiatives that you are trying to put out. Another really good example is for customer service people having the correct email communication that makes them effective. So we have the ability to create the email template name here, provide the description, designate the folder, private or public. And then we have the ability to relate this specific email template to a specific entity within the system. And so let's say you wanted to have this email template used for leads, for opportunities, for work orders, for quotes, you have the ability to designate specific email templates for specific types of records. Coming down here, we have our standard email functionality, adding in our subject, and then our robust email capabilities here with using source code, pictures, being able to designate the appearance of the email as well. And we also have the ability to add in a specific letterhead if created within the system. That concludes our training on creating email templates in Salesforce. Again, my name is Jade Keenan, and have a wonderful rest of your day.